Hey guys, we got all of our plastic up and it's on the truck in the shed so if it rains tomorrow then it's not going to make it weigh an extra thousand pounds. Um, we've already started working down the fields, working the ridges out of them from where we uh, laid plastic and we've got several fields that we are going to take out of vegetable production for a couple of years and try to build the soil health up and uh, cover crop them with uh, grain rotation uh, every twice a year so to speak for a couple of years build the soil health up and um, get the try to get the organic matter back up a little bit and leave the soil undisturbed no-till it for a couple of years there's really no better fertilize than chicken litter available around here but we can't use chicken litter when we're growing vegetables because of food safety concern um, uncomposted litter can contain E. coli so we never use litter when we are um, growing vegetables on the land but now that we're switching back to soybeans we are having some chicken litter spread on these fields that we're taking out of vegetable production and I'm going to go over here. I've already disked it down. I'm going to go over here and disk it in and pull a drag. And we're going to get a cover crop spread behind it. So uh, hopefully we can get this cover crop off and running. And uh, we should be in good shape come springtime. I already worked this deep, like up to the axles of the disc, the first pass across the field, and got most of the ridges out. As you can see, the, the field's relatively slick. I mean, there's places like right here, you can still see some ridges. And I did all that before they spread litter because they wouldn't be able to get across the field. It'd been so rough. So now, all I'm trying to do really is just scratch it with the disc more or less i mean it's going in the ground three or four inches but it's not going in the ground eight inches and i'm dragging this drag hard behind it which is leveling it up and gonna make a nice seed bed and we're gonna come back and sling uh cover crop seed on top and wait for it to rain hopefully we'll end up with a decent cover crop out of it This is a pretty good vantage point. Uh, a lot of times you can't really see topography in a camera very well. But you can see, especially up through there, how slick this field is behind where I'm dragging and disking. And right here, where the spreader trucks have been, if I left it like that, it would be so rough I wouldn't be able to ride across it in the spring. When I was first getting started, I used to think that, well, this ground's pretty soft. Rain and the weather will beat it down. But that is, couldn't be further from the truth. However you leave it in the fall, as soon as you get done with tillage or planting or whatever, it turns to concrete and that's exactly how it'll be in the spring. So it's important that we get this work down slick. and. 
you can see a lot of tracks when i worked over it the first time i had my disc turned in real sharp so it would cut and what i mean by that is these gangs on this disc are adjustable with this screw right here you can turn them into a real sharp D so they'll cut and what I mean by that is they'll get in the ground a lot deeper and they'll take out those uh, big 8 inch tall 24 inch wide rows that we lay the plastic on and then when I'm trying to slick the field down like this I turn them back out uh, not all the way straight but because I'm trying to turn this litter in a little bit but I rotate them out fairly straight where they're not cutting and they're not going to ridge the field up yeah this is doing a pretty nice job of slicking this down I don't know I may have touched on this in a prior video the thing about planting a cover crop right now and spreading this chicken litter and working it in is this cover crop is going to take up these nutrients from this chicken litter and hang on to it and when we spray this cover crop down and kill it after we plant our soybeans those nutrients are still going to be there not only that but there's going to be an awesome ground cover that's going to hold back weeds and uh, it it should grow us an awesome crop of soybeans the only downfall about chicken litter is for us because we don't have chicken houses so we can't control when it gets spread we just have to take it when we can get it is I wouldn't normally spread it in the fall when I'm going to put my fields to bed for the winter but it is what it is we're glad to have it and uh, get this cover crop on here and get it up we should have a really good crop of soybeans all right so i'm not gonna get too crazy loading this spreader until i figure out if i can see my tracks in the dirt in the dark but uh what i've got here is some oats some wheat and a bag of turnips um it's not exactly the cover crop mixture that i had in mind but um it's what my local feed store had so uh that's what we're gonna plant um, the reason for the turnips is um, Nebraska's are really good at weed control and turnips are in the Nebraska family and you'll also get uh, I mean it's a great big root so it's gonna break up compaction it's probably not as good as a tillage radish but uh, I think you'll do a pretty good job if you've ever had a greens patch and you just let it die out naturally uh, you'll notice that there's very very little weeds that come back unless you go in there and work the soil if you just let it die and don't disturb the soil you have very very little weeds so that's kind of the idea with planting Nebraska in the mix and the uh, the oats and the wheat are just for biomass and for ground cover So if you know much about gardening and you've ever planted greens, then you know that a little bit of greens goes a long ways. So I've got 10 pounds of turnip seeds here and I'm going to try to sow about 20 acres with it. So we're going to put about 8 ounces to the acre and hopefully that won't completely uh, smother out my um, oats and my wheat, but 8 ounces to the acre should be plenty sufficient. Alright, so I got my broadcast spreader set up and I've got it about where I want it as far as the amount of seed it's putting out. Now the question is going to be when I come back around the field, can I see my tracks from the last pass? So hopefully I can. If not, then everything I did this afternoon didn't matter because we've got this inch of rain, like I said earlier, coming in tomorrow. It's going to rain for two days. If I can get all this seed out, it's going to be awesome. Let's see. Well, as you 
as it turns out, I actually can see my tracks. And I was a little bit concerned when I was blending all this that it wasn't going to stay blended and that I would probably spread all the wheat because it's heavier and after vibrating around a little bit all the turnip seed would go to the bottom and that I would basically spread them all at different times based on the agitation of the spreader but uh, you can see here this is the bottom of that last batch I mixed and it actually did really well I mean I've got this is just a handful out of the bottom of the spreader when I quit and it's about 50 50 oats and wheat and when I first pulled my hand out you could see uh, turnip seed mixed in it they've all shaken down to the bottom of my hand now but uh, yeah there's a couple right there between my fingers three or four so hopefully we're gonna have a nice blend in the field but um, as it turns out I actually can see my tracks a little bit um, I just have to pay attention so it's go time I'm gonna go get this stuff spread before this rain comes in and uh, it won't do me much good to do any filming out there because you wouldn't be able to see me if I did but um, anyway thanks for watching guys and if you're enjoying this channel at all do me a big favor and hit that like button it would sure help me and the channel to grow and uh, if you want to keep up with what we got going on and continue to watch our videos please subscribe or drop a comment in the comments um, ask questions I'm happy to answer I may not have all the answers but I'll try to find them out for you but anyway thanks for watching guys see you next time